Good Morning Wilmington is sponsored by Newcastle County Government. All right, we're back, and I'm so honored to have a moment with Dr. Joan Coker. Hi, how are you today? How are you? I'm very well. Good morning. Thanks for having me. <laughs> no, thanks for being here. Listen, there's not a day that can go by where we don't talk about COVID. I mean, it's right. still super prevalent right now. Um, we have the variant that has a life of its own. Help us to understand a little more about this Delta variant. Yeah, this variant is pretty aggressive. It is. Um, it's highly contagious. Mm -hmm. um, it's affecting far more children than we anticipated. <sighs> yes. Um, when the COVID virus originally started, and we're, let's just call it COVID alpha, uh, we had about 9% of kids that were affected. Mm. And now we're up to 20%. Wow. And many of them are requiring um, hospitalization as well as intubation, mm. which is just tragic for a child. That's a really wide jump in the That's numbers. That's a huge jump. And, and that just tells you how aggressive mm -hmm. this variant is. I mean, this is the same variant in India that was taking 4,000 people out a day. Wow, so this is so, the same one. Same variant. Okay. So why does it happen? It happens because there is a mutation in a particular host. Mm -hmm. And most of those hosts are unvaccinated. And as a result, the virus can pretty much have its way in your body. Mm. So the take home message, Kristen, is the more of us that get vaccinated, yes, the less likely the mutation, mm -hmm. therefore the less likely we'll see more variants. Indeed. So, okay, with the vaccination, mm -hmm. um, they're offering the booster shots now. Yes. Um, tell me a little more about the booster shot. Who's eligible for it and how can we uh, go about getting that? So the good news is it's science-based again. Mm -hmm. So what they did was many of us in healthcare on the front line, we got our first shot in December, mm -hmm. second shot in January. Mm -hmm. So we were about four months out and they said, let's check the antibody level. So randomly, they took 25 states, looked at several healthcare workers and okay. said, let's see where we are with the numbers. And although we were doing well, not a lot of people sick, Mm -hmm. Not a lot of folks requiring hospitalization or ventilators. Um, they noticed that instead of being 91, 93% effective, now we're down to 77%. Ooh. So um, we thought, and they thought, we're going to need a weapon in the toolbox and we're going to need to gear up because we still have a lot of holdouts. Yeah. And as a result of these holdouts, you've got these aggressive variants, mm -hmm. A, but B, you've got more people coming into the hospital again. The house is on fire Indeed. again. Um, we feel better because now we feel like we'll make it, even though we're in the throes of this madness. Whereas our biggest fear, many of us were undressing in the garage, afraid to go home, yeah. getting rooms at hotels to not contaminate our families. Mm -hmm. And now we're in a different position. And I got to tell you, it feels, I'm going to be honest with you, disrespectful. Yeah. Because now you've got folks that have taken an oath. We're there for you. But you're coming in upset that you've got to wait an hour, two hours, and you're short of breath in the emergency room because you have COVID, mm -hmm. because you chose not to, get to not get vaccinated. Yeah. So it, it feels different. But nonetheless, we're there on the mm -hmm. front line, but we know we need to put another weapon in the toolbox and gear up. And so yes. we're going to continue to need these boosters yes. in the world as long as folks are thinking more about themselves mm -hmm. as opposed to their neighbor Absolutely. and family members, those mm -hmm. that are ineligible for vaccination. You know, I, I have an 11 year old and okay. she's not eligible to become vaccinated yet. Um, right. I can't help but to think about you know, how do we protect ourselves? Like you said, the you children are right. higher in, in the rate we're getting this Delta variant, Correct. which is crazy. Crazy. You know, how do we protect ourselves other than getting vaccinated? Off camera, you and I we were having a conversation and I was speaking with a friend of mine who was telling me that they couldn't, they were turned down to get the vaccination because uh, they had, and I'm pretty sure they were out of their 90 days of mm -hmm. having COVID. 
but that they were turned down because they had too many antibodies. And in my mind, I, of course, questioned and said, well, mm -hmm. I don't know, let me do some research. Something about that doesn't sound too right. Right. Um, will you help educate us for, for those who may be under the impression of, sure. uh, I have too many antibodies or I just had COVID, so mm -hmm. I can't get vaccinated, just to dispel some of the rumors that may exist? Yeah. Um, you know, for a long time in this country and everywhere, uh, natural immunity is effective. They're absolutely right. Once you've had the flu, mm -hmm. the likelihood that you have antibodies to get through the season, pretty doggone high. Yeah. Yep. You get the flu shot, you have antibodies as well. This is different. This virus is deadly. It's so aggressive. It's so aggressive. Yes. And the problem that we're seeing is, yes, folks do have a natural immunity once they've had it. Mm -hmm. But the downside is they seem to be losing antibodies very quickly after 90 days. After 90 days. After That's 90 cute. days. Not seven to eight months. Not seven to eight months. 90 days. Right. Wow. And and we're not even seven to eight months mm -hmm. outside of having the vaccination. So we're That's just right. there for many of us. So the data is brand new. Mm -hmm. And the, the vaccinations are holding up against these variants, mm -hmm. but my hope is that there's not a new variant. And that's the biggest fear, that there's gonna be a new variant that is not at all amenable mm -hmm. to the vaccinations. And now we're back at ground zero, mm -hmm. trying to find something effective. Yeah. So if we just cut down on the number of hosts mm -hmm. that allow this virus to just have its way in their bodies because yeah. they have nothing to fight against it, then we're gonna be forever in this spin of, oh my gosh, you're not going to believe this, but we're still in mask mm -hmm. and we still need mm -hmm. another booster shot. We have to do something to protect ourselves. <laughs> and if you're not starting at that baseline level you of got becoming it. vaccinated, you got it. Where will we really get better? We're just going to keep spinning. We're going like to keep spinning. Said. This is a global issue. It is. This is a global issue. And so you have to think globally. Mm -hmm. So it's not about you. Mm -hmm. It is about that aging parent. It is about that friend going through chemo mm -hmm. for a number of kinds of cancer yeah. that can't mount the response that they were hopeful for. Mm -hmm. And certainly it has to be about these children that have no say in the conversation. <laughs> that's the part so that gets me. That's the, the, the part children that are should. so innocent in all of this. And Got it. a lot of them aren't eligible for the vaccination. So, and Correct. now to hear that the babies are the ones getting sick and passing it on to Correct. others. They're, we're giving it to them and then they're turning around and giving it to other hosts that that's right. Needed, so. And what we know in the African-American communities is that we have a higher rate of asthma mm -hmm. because there are folks that are smoking in the house. Yes. It's not the child's fault. It's mm -hmm. not a genetic thing. It's an environmental thing. Yes. So understanding that there may already be a compromise exactly. of their respiratory system. There's, and then you throw yes. this thick mucus in a tiny system mm -hmm. and they are battling to survive. They are battling to survive. I mean, adults have a larger airway, more lung capacity, mm -hmm. and they're struggling to survive. Imagine exactly. a child. Little babies. Yeah, that hurts big deal. Indeed. It's a big deal. And there are so many, uh, just in the black and brown community, uh, there are so many other health issues that, yep. you know, make this even worse. Correct. Um, diabetes, childhood yep. diabetes. Yep. I have some younger family members who um, are children with diabetes, um, sickle cell. Anemia, That's right. Just... You know, and they're the ones who are the most vulnerable to Correct. all of this. So Correct. I think we have to do our part. You got it. And not, not only do we need to do our part, but um, we have worked to make sure that we were on the front line, mm -hmm. in line, getting the vaccination. Mm -hmm. um, those of us in the community that just fought to get us a place in line. Yeah. And at some point, folks have got to decide. It's time to lead and stop mm -hmm. following. I agree. I mean, let's go. I mean, we can sit here and Google and sit on social media mm -hmm. forever, but at the end of Do the something. day, I am my sister's keeper. I am my brother's yes. keeper. Let's yes. go. Yes, It's indeed. not that difficult. It's not that difficult. And, um, you know, instead of perpetuating uh, rumors mm -hmm. and, and uh, myths about the vaccination or yeah. um, even when uh, the governor had DEWins.org where he was incentivizing getting vaccinated, there were yes. so many people that had negative things to say. But look at what's going on right now. Correct. We have this Delta variant and you know, God forbid, you know, we don't have another variant that's going to take right. and run rampant. But um, how are we going to get things to become better if you aren't doing your part? 
That's correct. We're all a community of people here. We're all here to pour in to each other and uplift right. each other. But if you're not doing your part, what are you really doing? Yeah. You're helping to kill us. That's which, correct. You know, it's not cool. Yep. And COVID is a test. Mm -hmm. And it's a test of uh, wills and community. Yeah. And if folks don't get the message, mm -hmm. we're going to continue to have masks. Mm -hmm. We're going to continue to send home classrooms of children. Yeah. We're going to continue to have mandates and we're going to continue to struggle with this economy. Mm -hmm. But if we would all just take a moment, think outside of ourselves, That's right. be there Truly for one another. Express, express humanity. Correct. Yeah. Then we'll get through it. I agree. The world will get through it. Yeah. So we, we shall overcome. We shall. <laughs> ah, I love it. Well, listen, Dr. Coker, I appreciate your time today. And as always, I really appreciate all that you do in the community. Thank you. Thank you for taking a moment to sit here with us and have some conversation about what's going on with these COVID issues, as I call them. You got it. Thanks yeah. for inviting me. I appreciate it. No worries. All right. We're going to go back over to the couch.